Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over a possible fix for the memory leak issue, as well as those low FPS spikes during your long haul flights. Towards the end of the video, we're also going to go over a fantastic application that can help you manage your RAM memory usage during your flights. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. So before we get started in today's video, I would like to go over what we're gonna be covering. First, we're gonna go over the fix for the memory leak issue, as well as those low FPS spikes during your long haul flights. And this is gonna require us to open the system registry editor and make some changes in there. Once that's complete, we're gonna go over an awesome application that can help you manage your RAM memory usage during your flights. Now, if anybody has any questions along the way, please post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. If you have already done the system registry tweak, then I highly recommend that you check out the second part of the video. So without any further ado, let's hop right into this. And if it helps you out today, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. All right, so let's get started. And first things first, we need to come down to the search bar and just type in registry editor. Once you start typing in registry, it should populate in the very top of the list. Give that a left click and then hit yes to open the registry editor. Once you have that open, you should be left with a screen very similar to this one. You may not have all of these folders open on the left hand side, but that's okay. We're gonna make this as simple as possible. Down in the description, I left an address that you're gonna use to copy and paste right here into the address at the very top. Once you do that, it should already open you to the correct folder location that we need to go to. Next, once that's open, down on the right hand side, we're just gonna go down and find the start. We're gonna right click on that, click modify, and then you're gonna change the value in here from a two, which is the default value, to a number four. And then once that's done, hit okay. Now there is no save or anything here, but what you need to do now to make sure that these settings take effect is to restart your PC. Once that's done, all the settings will be set in stone, so to speak, and you'll be good to go. So now that we're done with the system registry editor, let's go over the application that can also be used to help manage your RAM. Down below in the description, I will also have a link for this webpage for where you can download this awesome piece of software. When you click on the link, it should bring you right up on this page and you just wanna navigate down to where it says official download here. We're gonna left click on that and the download should populate in your web browser. Once that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and left click on that to open that up. And then we wanna make sure that we put this on our desktop to make it easier to locate. For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the three dots and then we're just gonna pick the desktop just to make it easy. I'll hit okay, extract, I've already extracted it to my desktop, so I'm just gonna say yes to all, and then we are good to go. Once that's finished, we can then exit out of that web page. We no longer need that. Now that we're back on the desktop, you should be left with a new folder that's gonna be called ISLC. We're just gonna go ahead and double click on that, and then we're gonna open the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. All right, so now that we've got this open, we just need to set everything up specifically for your system. Depending on whether you're using 16 gig of RAM or 32 gigs of RAM will depend on some of the parameters that we're gonna input here. So the first figure that we need to make sure that is set correctly is the list size of 1024 megabytes. The second figure here is gonna be based dependent upon how much RAM you have currently in your system. If you're using 16 gigs of RAM, then the figure you're gonna put in here is 8196. If you're using 32 gigs of RAM, then you're gonna punch in 16,000. Now that's what I have in my system, so I'm just gonna set this to 16,000. The next thing that I like to do is to come down here and tick the launch on user login. As this application does not auto start whenever you turn on your PC, by having it launch the application, it will then populate it as soon as you start Windows, and then you can start the application if you'd like. Next, over here on the right-hand side, we need to make a couple more changes here. The next figure that we need to change is the wanted timer resolution. 
So we're just gonna highlight this and type 0 0.5. Then we're gonna use the delete key to delete the remainders. Below that, we're gonna tick the enable custom timer resolution. And then below that, we have the ISLC polling rate. So if you're using a mid to lower end system, you wanna make sure that this is set to 1000. If you have a mid to higher end system, you wanna set this to 500. Once you have done that, you have pretty much set everything up for the application to your PC. To start the application, we're just gonna come up here to purge the standby list. And as you can see, I've already got about eight gig of memory usage here. So we're gonna hit the purge standby list, and then we're gonna come down and hit the start button. Okay, so now what the application will do is it will purge out any built up memory left in your RAM and this way it'll help create a buffer so you don't have any memory spikes. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks everybody for joining us on the channel. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comments and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.